Hi, Dean Crab here, your cloud systemization expert. How are you doing? Today I wanted to talk to you about something really important. It's coming up and we all have to do it. It's the upgrade from Google Drive Sync to Google Drive File Stream. Now this is a really nice big improvement that Google have made with the new File Stream. It, uh, there's two major features. One is it allows you to sync Team Drive, which Google Drive Sync, the old tool, couldn't do. And also, it reduces the footprint of files on your computer. So it basically works like Netflix on demand. You know when you want to get a movie and you go to watch it and it basically streams to you? Well, this is how Google File Stream works. When files don't actually sit in your computer, although they appear there, when you click it, they stream to your computer. But you can also do offline as well. So today I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Google Drive Sync to Google Drive file stream with a little bit more detail than you've seen in other videos. Now as I've hinted at the very end there um, of the, the intro, I've watched a few of the other YouTube videos out there and no one really goes into enough detail, I think, on this upgrade path. There's some important steps about what to do with the old sync tool before installing the new one. So I want to cover that and being very practical, I'm just going to dive in and start showing you. So here is um, my Google Drive. I'm just in a temp folder and you can see it's synced to my computer here. Now, I'm only seeing the temp folder in my Google Drive, but you'll see all these other folders that sit in the root of your Google Drive. Even when you unsync everything in your Google Drive, that they're still going to sit there, okay? So all these files will still sit there. Um, but what you really want to do is try to unsync the bulk of everything else before then installing the new one. The reason for that is it gets rid of all the files that are on your computer because they don't need to be there and you want to have the confidence that they've all been upgraded, uh, uploaded into the cloud. Okay, so that's essentially what we're going to do here. So typically um, you'd come and look to make sure it says sync complete down here. Okay, and if you go in here, you want to make sure it's not pause so see how that says pause that means it's actually running at the moment um, so you want to make sure it's running and everything's done so if it syncs complete that means everything's been synced up and you should be good um, then if you go into preferences it'll load your folders now I'm not syncing everything because I've got a, a massive amount of videos and everything in there but um, you scroll down and I can see I'm only syncing this one folder but you want to untick here where it says sync all folders and you untick that okay and then it will remove all these folders off your computer, which is what you want to do. Now, there's some important kind of little notes here that I'm going to share with you. What happens if you've got stuff in there that hasn't yet synced when you do that? Now, when you actually test it, and I'm going to show you, it will go through and complete the sync uh, of those files into the cloud before removing them off. So it's really comforting that they've done that. So I'm just going to show you that. So here's... Yeah, so I've just unticked sync all folders, okay? And I'm gonna drop uh, the cover of our new ebook in here. It's about three meg, three to four meg. I'm gonna drop that in here, okay? In here in my local computer and then apply this so it's meant to unsync this whole folder and every other folder. But what you'll see is it actually waits for that to upload into the cloud before unsyncing. So I'm gonna drop that in there, apply it, okay? And it said it was gonna remove the temp folder so if you look here, you'll see it's actually uploading before it syncs. Now it says syncing one of two. The other thing it has to do is removing the folder, right? So you wait for that to finish. It won't take long. And you'll see uh, this folder will just disappear. Uh, and that, that cover image will then appear over here in the cloud, okay, in my, in my browser. So I'll just let that finish. It won't take long. I'll have a cup of tea while I wait. Should be nearly done now. Okay, and there you go. You'll see it says temp deleted and that's gone now. So all your folders should be removed from your Google Drive now. And the only thing you'll be left with is the stuff that was in the root folder like this. Okay, but if, if you've got down here and it says sync complete, you can have confidence that that's synced everything up for you, okay? So now you want to, um, you could probably turn this off. So you can quit that. Okay, and now you want to go over into your browser, of your Google Drive in the browser, and you're going to install the new Google File Stream. So over here, you got the cog icon, and you should have Download File Stream for Windows or Mac. Okay, now if you're not seeing that, it's because your Google Administrator in your organization has disabled it for now. 
and they may they may be they may do that for the reason of controlling everyone's upgrade and planning when they're going to do it. So um, if that's not there, ask your Google administrator and they'll they'll let you know uh, when it's going to become available. Okay. So you go over to the cog icon, go download file stream for Windows, and you get these two buttons. I'm on a PC, obviously, so I go Windows. It'll download a small file, and then you run that file. And you go yes. Now it's going to install. Now it normally go through a download process, but I've re I just did a demo of this before, so it might skip through this because it might have the content already on my computer. If not, it only takes about a minute or two to download this content and install it. And if it does that, I will pause this. Yeah, it's already installing. So mine's recognized that I've recently downloaded it. It's installing straight away. Okay, and so then now that's complete. Now, all you need to do is then sign in with the account you want to sync to the computer. So mine's obviously dean at c2solutions.com.au. Go next, and I'll just go and grab my password. Paste it in there. Okay. And then I've got two factor authentication, so I'm going to get the code coming through to my phone. Okay, and you'll see it pop up on my. Oh no, I've just. Uh, I muted my notifications on my screen because I normally get all these pop ups when I'm trying to record videos. Okay, so that'll install. Uh, that's installed and that'll log in. And the icon will appear here. I'll just grab it and drag it over. I'll just go through the wizard. Okay, and then you open Explorer. And what's cool about it now is you'll see on your computer you get this Google Drive file stream G drive. It looks like a normal drive, and you've got your My Drive and your Team Drives. Okay, so the Team Drives are everything in your Team Drive. Okay, and I've only got a test one there now. I'm going to be migrating everything over for my company soon. And then there's your My Drive and everything that's there. Now they all just appear there. But there, when you run them and download a file, you'll see it actually streams that file. See, it's queued, download, and then it opens on your computer straight away there, okay? So it's very, very instant. So that file literally just came down. Now, naturally, if you have large files, the problem with Google File Stream is, um, the one problem with, is, with large files is when you... Um, download, or you click to open a large file, it's got to pull all that down. Now with faster and faster internet, that is um, a very quick process, but if you want to make a certain folder available, so if I go into my Google File Stream, Drive, I'll go into C2 Solutions, I'll go down to my um, videos. So this is a lot of content here. I can click and right click and go available offline, and it's going to pull all of that content down onto my computer so it's available offline and any changes it'll then sync up so as soon as something happens you'll see the file stream app can i pull it down here now there we go um you'll see the file stream app will then start to sync these changes so as an example just showing you something syncing up i'll go back to my temp that temp folder and i'll read really just grab some file here i'll grab this csv Okay, now if I paste that there, and then go to file stream, you'll see it's already picked up that file. Okay, so putting putting something there, it picks up the sync very quickly, and it queues it, and there you go. It took about five or five or so seconds, and it queues it and uploads it. And if you go over to your Google Drive, back here again, you'll then see the file appear here. There, there you go. Okay, so that's Google Drive sync. How to upgrade from the old version to the new version. Now there's one extra step and that is to then go over uh, I'm gonna just shift my little head over to the other side is to go over into your um, add remove program so I do it by going appwiz.cpl okay because that's what I know but um, in your control panel I think it is in your control panel add remove programs So you can see I don't use this at all, programs and features, I think. Yep. I usually just go appwiz.cpl, which takes you into the same spot. Okay, and if you go down to here, down to Google Drive, you'll see it's still the old version there. You can right click and uninstall that. Okay, and that removes it off and keeps the new version on there. 
Now one final last step that I nearly missed and is important, uh, important is if you go over to your computer, you'll see now I've got the new Google File Stream, but here's the remnants of the old Google Drive that I had there. Now you know from the earlier step that that was all synchronized and complete, so you can then right click that folder. Okay, uh, I'll do it from here. Go Google Drive and Google Drive Test. Okay, and you can delete that folder because you no longer need it and everything's in the cloud. Okay, so just that final step required just to, you know, you've, you've moved over, you uninstalled the old version, just go and remove the old folder as well and you're all Mickey Mouse. So that's a complete walkthrough process of the implications um, of going from Google Drive Sync to Google Drive File Stream and the things you need to think about and also um, what happens with files if they haven't synced up and removing the old files off your computer, okay? So hope you found that helpful. Now, if you want other great content like this from us, feel free to um, go to our website and subscribe, c 2 solutions forward slash subscribe, or get, jump into our YouTube channel or our Facebook. Um, you can join us there. There's also a new group we've set up called the C2 Coffee Club where you can get together with other business owners and talk about systemizing your business. Oh, and hey, our new ebook is just out. We literally launched this this week. So um, jump on our website and you'll find a download for that. And that shows you all the tools we use to help businesses systemize. I'm Dean Crabb. Hope you found that useful and I'll speak to you again soon. Cheers.